I felt like Smichael stepped off a little bit too early. Got to be a little under control with her two steps there so she can kick it out. Wall shows the ball and wins herself an and one. Adam Musayo is six foot four. Showed it there. Wood, transition three, she got it. And you know, as we try to get back here to the game, our thoughts and our prayers are for the people of Michigan State and the families that are grieving. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Michigan State was supposed to be playing a game tonight, their women's basketball team. Her high IQ and how she's just really perfected that mid-range jumper. You saw her knock it down there. Northwestern, meanwhile, not having the same issues from distance. Back inside, Kaylee Walsh has been a monster in this first half, and she goes back to work. Here's Brown stepping out. Now Cornwell, double teamed, gets through it and lays it in. And maybe that's a formula for success tonight. A talented player, but maybe not as well-rounded as a player like Walsh is at this point in her career. And again, it's Adam Usayo, who on the defensive end has it going. Blocks Michael. Now Rutgers trying to claw back into it. Northwestern's led by as many as 10 in this game. And they come up with another steal. Look ahead for Kayleen Smichael, who steps through. Better shot selection for Rutgers. High arcing three. Kayleen Smichael confirms. And Rutgers is back within one. And right on cue, Kaylee Walsh is at the scorer's table. But Smichael can give the Scarlet Knights the lead. She does. And Kayla Rainey waiting for the, sh the clock to dribble, uh, dwindle down. Goes to work on Carter, and it's blocked away. Kai Carter got all ball. The last four buckets from Rutgers came from Kayleen Smichael. Trying to get other players going. That was Erica Lafayette who missed. China Cornwell got it back. Had a couple of chances. Has another try and lays it in. Kaylee Walsh pushed away from the paint, but Paige Mott gives Northwestern a second chance. Now Walsh from three. She got it. You know what I mean? You got to imagine teams are going to do this to them. Have them take those open threes if, you know, that that's not exactly what they want to do. And right now, been successful so far. And they want to get it to Kayleen Smichael. Can't blame them. Drives the lane, and she's wide open for the two. Rutgers right now not settling for that wide open three-pointer, just putting it in, attacking the paint. Oh, and Smichael just rips it away. Wood read it perfectly. No, she wanted to kind of do that same drive that she did last time. Woo! Woo! Sadibe. All going on a tour with her family. And what a moment that is. And of course, Coach Stringer's fingerprints are all over this program. Yeah, we see it even with some of the press that Rutgers rolls out this year. Now, Coquies Washington today trying to get her team back in this game. Walsh passes out. Cassandra Brown was bothering her. And now Sidibe has the steal. Two on two. Bates steps through. Rutgers back in front. Yeah, I mean, Coach Washington says that, hey, we're, try we're trying to learn how to win, learn how to put games away in regulation. And right now, this game tied up. Another close one here. Oh, Sidibe has another steal. One on one with Lau and one. Awa Sidibe. Now clearly the Wildcats want Rutgers to beat, beat them inside the arc as that falls for Sidney Wood. Walsh fading away. No. And Smichael has it. Ahead for Brown. What a catch. What a lay-in. Acrobatic stuff. It's Michael. She'll try three. And she gets it. In time again, the freshman putting the team on her back. Coach Watson said she ain't afraid of the spotlight. She ain't afraid of the big moment. And you see it right there. I mean, ever since that last debate between the referees, everyone kind of confused, not going on here. And he thought it was a foul call. Carter bounces in. And that's how it is, shooting at home. Nice mid-range shot here. And now a steal. Great defense from Rutgers. Sidibe attacking and scoring. Walsh, they need it, but it's wide right. And Sidibe had it. Woods got it now. Lau in, and Cornwell blocked it away. 
Just a stoppage of play. It seems like Rutgers just took it to their advantage. The hard foul from Wood. But it doesn't matter now. Rutgers gets the win.